Good morning from Admiral County, Virginia. Today we will be looking at the Chinese compass, which you can see here on the right. You might be used to seeing compasses that look like this. This compass has a needle in the middle with a small magnet that aligns with the Earth's magnetic north pole, which is different from the true north pole or geographic north pole. As you spin the compass, you can see that the arrow stays oriented pointing towards the magnetic north. So when you line up the tip of the needle with the N on the outside of the compass, you can see where all the directions are. Many cell phones also have a compass app on them. This compass app shows what direction the phone is facing. So I'm facing east. You can tell because it's morning, sunrise is over there, and now it's over there in the sky. It's winter, so it stays pretty low the whole time. This compass works the same way. As I turn it, the red arrow pointing toward north stays in the same spot, and the line telling you which way the phone is facing is moving. So right now, the phone is facing to the south. Now let's look at our Chinese compass. A Chinese compass works in a very similar way. The needle here is not within the case, and it's placed on this metal plate. No matter how you place the ladle, the stone inside is orienting itself with the Earth's magnetic poles. Ancient Chinese compasses were made out of lodestone, which is a naturally magnetized piece of the mineral magnetite. The Chinese compass was actually designed for the handle of the ladle to point south. So you can see the spoon side is pointing north, the same as our compass, and the ladle side is pointing toward the south. The Chinese did not use their compass for navigation at first. They used it to find the direction so that they could orient their spaces using the magnetic directions. What questions do you have about the compass or the Chinese compass? Post your questions and I will try to answer them.